Hey everyone, this is Osamu awesome Wakabayashi from Zen Ideas. I've been waiting for this feature, location and distance filter for Jet Smart Filter. So I'd like to uh, show that to you how you can set this up and uh, how that works. Now before I begin, uh, let me show you where I live. So I live in Ottawa, so that's uh, I mean in Canada here, up north. And then uh, I set up an event, uh, one in Montreal and then Toronto. Now from Ottawa to Montreal is about 200 kilometers away. And from Ottawa to Toronto, it's about 500 kilometers away. Okay, so let me show you how it works. So uh, I live in Ottawa. So uh, by the way, this is uh, these are uh, events listing and then most of them are in Ottawa. Uh, that's Toronto and that's Montreal. So Ottawa, Toronto, Montreal. So most of them are in Ottawa, right? So let's say I'm gonna enter this location. So this is a new filter. Uh, we can play with. So I'm going to start with Ottawa. So here you go. And then now you can see all the events are in Ottawa. Okay. So now next one is, so let's type in Toronto. And here we pick that. Uh, yeah, here we go. So they are all in Toronto. Okay. So let's go back to Ottawa again. And now, so let's set up a go to 500 kilometers. So uh, it's gonna work. So it should be, yeah, Montreal is included and Toronto is in included, okay? So it's kind of cool. All right, so let me show you how you can set this up, okay? Now first, uh, let's go to JetNG here. And you have to make sure this map listings uh, should be enabled, all right? So that's the first step. And so I'm using, uh, this is a custom post type event, uh, CBT. Uh, so, uh, so here we go. So post type here under jet engine. Now I'm not going to go through really detail, but let me show you how I set this up. Okay. So this is a post type name events and the slug, uh, the field here. So I have a map here. Okay. So this is, so address map. Okay, so uh, just pay attention here. So I got underscore address as a name ID and here field type is map. Okay, so and also, um, so I got the address here. So this is where I can put text, uh, kind of physical address of the location of the uh, event. Okay, and now just differentiate. So I don't have any underscore here compared to this one. So I got the underscore here, right? So I just wanna just, uh, differentiate and just date and time and the organizer's name okay and then let me show you quickly so go to events so hit the, just pick one here so just the event title here just description and here are the meta fields so I just um, put the address map and here uh, I don't know if you happen to use this uh, map field so you can just type address and then you can just pick that and they find the location here. All right, so and also I got just the uh, address in the text field so that they, uh, uh, I can display on the front end, right? Uh, so the next one is uh, we need to set up a query. So go to Query Builder. So I already um, added a new query here. It's called a location and distance. So this is just a name, location and distance. So you can name it um, well, whatever you like. And then, so this is gonna be post query because I'm gonna be using custom post type. And which custom post types, so that's event. So you can just go here, you can pick. So in my case, just the event, okay, oops. Okay, and the post status are published. So that's it. And then pagination is uh, so i'm just put the uh, value minus one which means i uh, show all post okay so we can just i mean if you want you can put the whatever number you want so you might just just put minus one and then geo search and here uh so i'm just putting the ottawa here uh location you can set this up okay you can just put the pin here and the address field is the underscore address and distance, I just put the 500 kilometers radius 
and you can pick mile or kilometers okay so and just hit update so just remember that so that this is the query uh, I named the location and distance and the next one is you so you need to create the listings uh, once again so I already done it uh, I think uh, this one event listing so I just quickly show that to you uh, I'm using Elementor by the way So it's just simple. Uh, I got the picture here. This is a featured image and the title of the um, event and then address here and then date and time. And this is just detail. Uh, this is a permalink. Okay, so, and the next one is, so you need to create a smart filter. Um, so once again, I already created the smart filter here. It's got location and distance and they hit the edit. I'll show you too. It's very, very simple. Uh, just put the filter label uh, in my case just fill uh, location and distance and just pick this one okay and then hit update now the next one is go to pages uh, you need to add new pages uh, but i already done this one again so here is location and distance and i'm using elementor so you can use gutenberg 2 block editor all right, so I, th I think I, I'm going to just delete all. I'll sh show that to you. Okay, so here, uh, so you can find the, uh, I think, uh, location. Yeah, so location distance widget. So you just have to grab this right here. Okay, so uh, filter is location distance filter. Yeah, so pick that. And then this filter is for jet engine. Okay. And then so you can pick uh, page reload or Ajax. I'm gonna put Ajax. And then uh, so I can just leave it as it is. And here, so distance list. So you can change that to uh, 510, 25. Uh, I'm gonna just uh, make it to 500 here. Actually, you can add a new item too. Okay, and hit update. All right. So next one is I'm gonna bring um, a listing grid. Let's grab this, and then I think event the listing. So this one, and then it's here. Uh, I'm gonna put it to. Uh, show more okay so it shows everything for now all right um i think the next one is go to custom query here and they use custom query and i already add a new query here it's called location distance okay and i think that's it so hit update all right uh, and then let's go take a look all right, so let's. Uh, so now I've got the Toronto here and the Montreal and Ottawa. So it's listing everything. Uh, there are twelve events uh, for now. So let's go to uh, Ottawa and a five kilometers radius, and it should show only Ottawa. Okay. So now let's change that to Toronto. All right, so they're you know, all in Toronto. There are four listings uh, in Toronto, okay? And if you change this to 500, so it should include Ottawa too, but not in Montreal, okay? Uh, so change back to like uh, 10 here. And so I'm gonna change to uh, Montreal here. Oops. Okay. They should have two events here. All right, so I'm gonna draw two events. And once again, so I'm gonna increase to 500, so that should include uh, Ottawa too, not in Toronto, okay? All right, here we go, so that works. And one last thing is I think um, you can uh, set your current location too. So I'm gonna just open up with uh, uh, incognito window or private window here, so try that. Uh, not sure it works. So once again, I live in Ottawa. 
So if I set this up, uh, shouldn't shouldn't include uh, Cobra Cloud Trunk, all right? So let's try that. Okay, so allow. Uh, no data found. Let's see. Uh, all right, so it looks like it's working. Okay, try again. Fire. Well, some, oh, you know what? Maybe it's, yeah, probably, you know what? Because I live in Ottawa, but my house is more than five kilometers away from that location. That makes sense. So if I go 25, all right, so let's go to, yeah, probably 10. Got it. Okay. So again, so my house is actually a little bit far from downtown in Ottawa. So uh, it's, uh, it's less than five kilometers, but the more than, sorry, more than five kilometers, but the less than 10K. Uh, so let's say if I pick um, 500, should list um, Montreal for sure. Uh, yeah, so Montreal and it actually turned to, yeah, it's about five, 500K. So it should include everything. All right, that's great. Okay, so I think that's it. So, um, I hope this helps and I'll see you next time.